All right, what is up, everybody? Uh, today I have a single battle here. Um, first, the game starts off with a really weird glitch where it says my cloister is in, getting destroyed by a melodic, um, which obviously is not happening right now. Um, but before my Needle King slash fake cloister dies, um, I do get some damage off on this Apollyon. So, I mean, I was pretty confused about that, but I uh, decided to go on with it and switch into my Gudra. Um, end up because of this weird glitch, I end up switching into an ice beam, um, which is okay. Uh, I take it pretty well, and I decide to go for the thunderbolt, and that does a pretty amount, pretty good amount of damage. Leaves me at a good distance because of that. I think it, I don't know what it was hit with. The boy almost hit from my needle king or whatever. I don't know if it said cloister attack, so. Yeah, I don't remember what the move was, but adds on to add some good damage, so another Thunderbolt from me will kill. Um, it was a very nice, very nice play. I was really scared, thinking that it might live with a little bit of health, so I was very happy to see that it dies, or faints. Up next, uh, this person switches into an Ambipom, and I predict a fake out, so I switch to my Pangro. Which you will find out. This is not fake out. Not once through the game. Uh, so I was like, okay. Uh, hits me with a double hit. Pretty happy. I was like, wow, that really did nothing. Pumped. I was like, I'm gonna uh, knock off. Switches into a Haunch Crow. Which is, this is a really weird set Haunch Crow. I've, maybe it's weird. Maybe it's not. I thought it was weird. I uh, knock off a Razor Claw. And. As you see, I decide to go for Agent Power and uh, this thing I see. So that was that was something new. Um, almost kills. Almost, almost, almost. I uh, didn't want to take another icy one. Kind of scared that it would uh, finish me off. So I go into my Arcanine to take resistance damage and the speed drop does not matter because of my extreme speed so there goes uh, two Pokemon down zero down on my side um, I'm not sure what the next Pokemon he oh and back in and bomb I uh, go straight for the close combat never mind no I do not um, I go to Tangrel again and he double hits um, I go I go straight for a knockoff straight for the knockoff he switches once more and I knock off this um, Zatu's razor claw as well which is really weird um, me being me thinking that this thing could not do a damn thing to me I decided to just go for agent power again not see that coming, have not seen these things in a long while, especially on uh, Pro, so I did not see a heat wave coming. Um, so here I just, yep, just go back into my uh, killer and extreme speed. So that goes down, Zatu's down, so now it's 3-1, uh, so he goes back to Ambipom and I'm just tired of him switching this thing in, so I go for the close combat on him, double hit. I didn't know, I never got to find out what item this was, so I don't know, because it obviously wasn't banded or anything. Hmm, maybe Scarf, probably not though. I don't know what I'm probably Razor Claw on that too. Here, I actually did not see the lost bed here, but that's kind of weird that it runs Slash. Um, so, got all sped by that. Here, my Cloyster, Focus Sash, I knew either it was going to bring me to my Sash, or I was going to kill it, or I was going to do half, but I was going to kill it either way, it was going to die. So I hit me with the Leaf Blade, I live with just a little bit above my Sash. Not a little bit of heat. Yeah. And I kill this thing with Sickle Spear. 
So the next Pokemon, but now it's um, it's a uh, 5-2. Here, let's go straight for the Razor. Razor, Razor thingy. Razor shell, there we go. Uh, instant kill. So I don't know if it was, it must have been Specs or something. And there we go, that's the end of the battle. Hope you guys enjoyed.